clearly the coronavirus pandemic has been a very difficult time for many people in many different ways. But I have noticed uh, one positive thing that's coming out that relates particularly to working dads. When COVID hit, um, suddenly many of us found ourselves working from home. And uh, the dads that I've been talking to have said that that sudden shift uh, going from the office to working from home uh, and, and often including flexible hours as well, has allowed them to have considerably more involvement in the day-to-day -day lives of their partners and their babies than they would otherwise have had. Um, so one father, for example, just the other day was saying to me that he felt that uh, the emotional bonding process that had taken place during his paternity leave was able to continue uh, far more than it would have done had he been going back to work at the office. Um, another dad was talking very passionately about how important it was to him that he was able to have uh, breakfast uh, together with the whole family, including his wife and their two-year-old uh, and the new baby as well. And that was time that he would otherwise have been on his commute. Um, and plenty of dads have talked about how good it feels um, just to be able to share more of the responsibilities at home in ways that wouldn't have been possible before lockdown. Um, so some of them are having shifts uh, where they take the baby for a while and then uh, they, they hand back over to their partner um, and they fle flexing their hours to suit around that. Um, other dads are taking the baby for a walk during a lunch break and giving their partner a well-earned rest. Um, uh, and then there's just being around more to be able to deal with some of the domestic duties, you know, the stuff that never goes away. Um, and that's making a, a big difference, not just to how these dads feel about being a working father, but also to the mental and the physical well-being of their partners. So what I think makes this so important is that, you know, it's really easy for many working fathers and the organisations that employ them to kind of default to this quite 1950s attitude to how you want to do things. And I think that increasingly many working fathers don't, you know, they don't want that. Um, and they're looking for a different type of approach. And it's the genuine emotion uh, in their voices when they talk about this arrangement of working from home that's really struck me. Now it's a shame that it's taken uh, a global health crisis to see this shift happening at scale but I really hope that there is a lasting legacy from this in terms of the working arrangements um, uh, around how people want to manage their work and their home lives. Um, and also around, you know, helping other fathers in the future to reap the same sorts of benefits that the fathers that I've been talking to have found.